Hello, 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 hello. Hope you are having a beautiful, 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 beautiful day. Let me make sure this is working. Yep, it's working. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah. So let me wait for some people to come in. Because I want to talk. Then this thing always falling. How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Y'all having happy Friday. I'm here for about 30 minutes. So make sure get all out of me as you can. Because I ain't coming back. Maybe for the weekend. So I'm here. Hey, Riri. How are you doing? Hey, Carlina. Hey, Miss Funches. How are you doing? Hey, Shug. I hope you're having a... Um, I'm glad to, Riri. I'm, I'm glad that you are. I hope you're having a good Friday and you all finish work. This thing cannot stay still. And don't and I hope you aren't working too hard. Right? I hope not. Hey Kimberly. Oh, this thing is getting my nerve. You keep moving, huh? You know what? I quit. I give up. Let me just leave you right there. Oh well. Did I did I just go? Did my life just finish? What just happened? Man, y'all, give me a second, okay? I beg I beg pardon. But my stuff is acting up. Jeez. <sighs> hey, Naisha. Hey, Deltra. How are you doing? So I ain't here for I ain't here for long. Um, let me just stay here for a few minutes. All right. I want to talk about something that we don't even that we don't realize sometimes. We don't we don't recognize sometimes. I want to talk about something. Hey, Patty. How are you doing, Patty D? Listen, here's the truth. Here's something that we don't re we, we don't really realize. Now, I know we all heard. I can't stay, I, I can't speak for long because I have to go get something, um, some work done on the outside. I gotta go pick up some stuff too. So I can't speak for long. So I can't um say the highs and the lows to everyone who come in. So pardon me. Thank you, Patty. So, you know, we all hear people say, you know, you teach people how to love you, you know. We teach people how to love you. Can you all hear me, um, YouTube? Can you all hear me? Let me know if you all can hear me. Let me know if you all have issues hearing me. Let me know if you all have issues hearing me because I'm speaking in this mic, and I hope this mic is on. What's up, 111 goddess? Let me know if you all can hear me. I might have to disconnect TikTok because this thing just don't act right. So I might have to disconnect um, TikTok. You all could join me on um, YouTube. Hey, Samina, how are you doing? Okay, good. That, th thank you, Deltra. Thank you. So, um, hey, Juliana. So, you know, we 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 keep hearing you teach people how to love you. Okay, okay, you can hear. Okay, TikTok, good. You know, we keep hearing people say you teach people how to love you. You teach them how to love you. You teach them how to treat you. Uh, do we ever think the other side? We teach people how to play games with us. We teach them how to play us too. We teach them our game. We teach them how to play us. What's up, my brother Jake? How you doing, man? If we teach folks how to love us, then do we teach them how to play with us also? we have Listen, we have to see things from two sides, you know? Everything has a two part. Everything has a duality. Hey, Arlene. Hey, Money Penny. How are you doing? Everything has a duality. The thing is, are we looking at that side? Are we taking accountability for how we allow people to play us? Listen, let me tell you all something about a gambler, somebody who gambles. Somebody who's, a, or somebody who plays spades, or somebody who's a fighter. The first thing that they do, they look at the opponent. You must study your opponent. If you want to master the game, you must look at your opponent. You must know what moves them, what shakes them, what knocks them out. Understand people looking at you. When people meet you, when people meet you, they look at how you treat yourself. They, they look at how you talk. They look at how you feel. They look at how you think. They look at how, how much guilt you carry. They look at how you much how much you love you. They look at how much you hate you. They look at how much you disrespect you. They look at every single thing, right? And what they do, they come to you in that way. They come to you as you. They come to you as you. And people, you teach them how to play you. And you teach them by every time they do something. One of the ways how you teach people how to play you is this right here. What's up, JP? Every time you're nagging, I'm going to leave. I hate this. Stop doing it or else. That's you teaching them how to play you because they know you ain't going nowhere. You just, you talk too much. 
One way how you teach people how to play you. If you ever, if you ever played spades, you will know that people know when you're bluffing. If I, if you play with someone for so long in spades or any dominoes or any game, you know when they're bluffing. And when you, when, when, when you know that they're bluffing, you know exactly what to do next. You talk too much. You talk in your game too much. You talk in your next move. Nobody should know your next move. When it comes to relationship, what's up, Nez? When it comes to relationship, when it comes to dating, you put it all on the table too quickly. The bet is not what the game ain't begin yet. Listen, the game ain't started yet, and you're in a loss. This is why we always losing. If you're always losing that relationship, it's because you're playing the game filthy. Let me tell you something that we don't realize. Let me tell you something. The truth is, ain't nobody care about your heart. Hey, butterfly, I have a good heart. What if you have a good heart? What's up, Angel? How are you doing? What if you do have a good heart? Does that mean that you win spades all the time? Does it mean that you win spades? Does it mean that you always win the game? If you have a good heart, if you come to the game with a good heart, do you win the game because you have a good heart? I bet you don't. I bet if you suck at the rules of the game, you will never win, no matter what heart, no matter what condition your heart is in. Hey, Basila, what's up, M? If you come to the game and you don't know how to play, I don't care what good heart you have. I don't care how much of a good heart you have and how much God loves you. You do not win. I don't care how much of a God servant you are, how much you serve God, how much you love God, how much you don't mean no harm, how much you don't mean no wrong. It doesn't matter. If you come to the game and you don't know the rules, you will never win. Stop saying that I have a good heart and I don't deserve this. I keep hearing people say, I don't deserve this. Nobody deserves it. Nobody deserves it. Nobody deserves being cheated on, being disrespected, being abused. The trees don't deserve their, all their leaves falling off and all their branches cut down. The trees don't deserve it. They are innocent. You know what the trees do all day? The trees worship God. Hallelujah. Every day is windy. When the wind comes, the trees worship. When it's still, the trees worship. They don't cuss nobody. They don't beat nobody up. They don't do nothing wrong to nobody. But yet, every year, all the leaves go. People cutting them drinkers down. Hurricane come, destroy the trees. Leaves gone, branches gone, and the trees still stand. It's not about God knowing your heart. It's just a part of life. It's a part of life. So when you talk about, when you come to relationship, when I have a good heart, nobody cares. Stop saying that stuff. You don't have a good heart. What are you comparing yourself to? Who are you comparing? You mean you have good intentions? Okay, when you come to the game, I ha you have good intentions about winning the game. But just because you have good intentions about winning the game, do you win? Hey, Ninas, just because you have good intentions about winning the game, does that mean that you win? No, the person who plays their hand better win. We teach people how to play with us. And all this time, you're being a victim, right? All this time, exactly, Basila. All this time, you've been complaining, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. He did this. You said, no, there's no victim in this life. It, there's not. No, I ain't talking about the young kids and the, I'm talking about us. I'm talking about us. Don't ask about the kid who just born three days. I'm talking about us. I'm talking about adults. I'm talking about me and you. I'm talking about those of us watching this. I'm talking about you who is 43 years old looking at me. I'm 43 years old looking at you. We ain't, we ain't innocent. What's up, happy feet? The only reason why you say you're innocent is because you are judging yourself on someone else's actions, someone else's weakness, someone else's crap. The truth is, ain't nobody care about your heart. Your heart is not in, in, in the game. Your hand is. Deal with your hand. What's up, Fatima? How are you doing? Play your hands right. One of the things that you play the game messed up is, is that every time they leave and they come back, they leave and they come back and you let them come back. Let me tell you what, let me tell you what we do. Somebody say, you know what? I'm leaving you. And when they say I'm leaving you, guess what? They're looking at what you're going to do next. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. I, listen, I know what I'm talking about. When people say I'm leaving you, I'm breaking up with you. They're looking at you. What, what you what you say next? 
No, but why? I don't understand why you want to leave me. We were going so good. Yep, they have an upper hand. Leverage. Listen, I know you all don't like to hear these things. I know you all don't like to hear these things, but people play games. We're not talking about, I, you know, we're not talking about should they, but they're wrong. That's wrong. People sick. People play too much games. That's why I'm single. We're not talking about that. The truth is, let's talk about facts. People play games. Whether it's right or wrong, that's not your concern. It's not your business. People play game. You should understand the game that they play because you are living amongst the people who are playing games. So we're not going to talk about, oh, my God, I hate that. That man, this, woman, this. We're not talking about that. Cut all that stuff out. That's being a victim. You're, you're not a victim. You're an adult. You know what I mean? It's called accountability. It's called open your eyes, calm your spirit, and feel the vibration of people. Learn how to feel the vibration of people's words. People's words carry a vibration. It carries a frequency. Every time you speak, you carry a frequency. Every time you speak, the voice matches your frequency and it comes out to the other person and it touches them. It vibrates in your soul. Understand, you have a, 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 a responsibility is in learning who you're talking to. You have the responsibility in learning who you're playing with. You have a responsibility in learning who you are messing with. You are not a victim. And if you don't know it, begin to learn it. Not to cry about it saying, I didn't know, and they lied. The truth is we are all connected to the same energy. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? We are all connected to the same energy. Don't go to nobody's house. We are all connected to the same energy. If the same energy is driving us all, I should know when your energy is off because I can feel it because I am connected to it. Understand, right or wrong, true or false. What if we are betrayed after they're given their word? I'm paying the consequences, but now what... Because this is my workplace and does affect my mental health, seeing him with another coworker. If you are seeing someone with someone and it's destroying your mental health, it's not what you see, it's what you perceive. What you see is not the issue, it's how you perceive it. You are destroying your own mental health. See, many of us are effing our own selves up because we don't want to accept what is real. Listen, stop looking at it. Stop looking at it. If you don't like to see it, stop looking. But you should get to a place that you have to understand. Hey, hey, sacred consultant. Hey, hey, Jocelyn, how are you doing? Listen, I want us to understand this. My daughter plays games every day. She's five years old. She plays by herself. If I join, her games continue. And when I stop, the game continue. It does. Hey, BLJ, understand this. People are playing with or without you. If you join, the game continues. And if you stop, the game continues. You are choose not to stop. You are choose to stay in the game with them and be hurt. This is your choice. Is your choice to be hurt? Is your choice to be free? Is your choice to be happy? Is your choice to be mad? Is your choice to feel betrayed? Is your choice to feel anger? Is your choice? All those things are choices. When we actually accept that it's our choice, you have a choice. You can choose how you feel. You can choose to walk away. It is your, it's all a choice. You know, I think we remove all of our choices, keep the one that we hate, and complain about it. I don't understand this. And listen, you got A, B, C, O, D. I choose D. But if you choose D, take D and go your way. Don't take D and beat yourself up and complain. Choose what you want and choose ye today who you serve. Listen, you have to choose who you serve. Do you serve anger or do you serve happiness? Do you serve freedom or do you serve bondage? What do you serve today? You got to choose what you serve. You can't complain about life. You are not innocent. You didn't, listen, you ain't innocent because the first thing that you must do is protect. If you love you, you will protect you. You teach people how to play with you. When they call you names, 
You teach them that either they should stop or continue. People, listen, everybody, everybody tries you. Everybody tries you. The kids tries you to see what they can get away with. Because all kids are narcissists. <laughs> the kids try you. The adults try you. Your partners try you. Your boss try you. Exactly. Your coworkers try you. Everybody, because they know. Listen, because when I meet you, when I meet you, you shows me, you show, you must show me, convince me how you feel about yourself. And when you convince me how you feel about yourself, I join in with you. I know what I could and what I can't do because you don't know. See, if somebody keep calling you names and you keep being there, uh, they say, sorry. And you say, okay, I, I forgive you. They do it again. They say, sorry, I forgive you. You, you, you know, they know exactly what to do. So stop complaining if you allow it. When people say, I want to break up with you, they look and see what you're doing and how you cried and how you're trying to force it and how you're trying to stop them and how you can change their mind. They know exactly how to leverage and get whatever they want. All they have to do is bring it up. Every time they're angry, they just bring it up. What if I walk away? Every time they, they bring it up and they, it controls you because you are teaching them. Do you have taught them the game? Habitual lying steppers. That's facts. It's not hard to walk away. You're just attached. It's not hard. It's not as hard to walk away. You're just attached because you care about some feeling. Oscar say, you healed me when I was in the Netherlands. Now I went back to South Africa and I have peace. That's what I'm talking about, man. Man, listen, I'm honored to hear that. You healed yourself. You just took my advice, huh? You did the work. I'm proud of you, man. Good stuff. He says, "You, bro, you healed me when I was in the Netherlands. Now I went back to South Africa and I went, I, I have peace. Man, you healed yourself. I just, I just spoke it up to you. Listen, you connected to the words that I was saying and you did it. I am very happy and proud of you, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let things begin. You got to every day, every day that you live, find something to be to set yourself free with. You know, we have so much things that we are attached with. Every day we should find something and disconnect from it every single day. Our load should be lighter. Every day our load should be lighter. Yes, Andrea. Every day, our load should get a little bit lighter, but we keep padding on stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious. We keep padding on stuff on and on and on. Listen, you teach people how to play you, and then you call them a toxic person. You call them a narcissist because calling somebody a narcissist empowers you. It removes your accountability. That ain't, ain't nobody do. You calling me a narcissist, all it does, it removes your accountability in your actions, in your behaviors. Right or wrong? Many of you are going to say no. Because many of you are going to say, well, I'm an empath. I don't know what that means. Sure, warm greeting. Happy Friday to you too. And happy birthday. Is it today or yesterday? Happy birthday. It's harder to stay than to walk away because staying will make you miserable. And you know, yeah, facts. How can you have peace in the workplace when you are being attacked by an evil boss? You have peace because you have a choice. Now, I know the answers that I give you is not answers that you want to hear. And I'm not going to give you the answers. Okay, okay, okay. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. How, how old did you make? Now, I have to cash up your little um, birthday gift. You have peace because the book I already told you that a thousand will fall on my left and 10,000 on my right. It, it, it already told you that you, though you walk through the valley of shadow of doubt, sometimes we have to remember that people are allowed to do whatever they want to do. Do, do, we, do we understand? Okay, 34. Okay, young lady. Okay. Well, welcome to 34. I'm uh, over a decade older than you. <laughs> Listen. Wait, what did I just say? I totally forgot what I just said. What did I just say again? Facts, Nez, facts. My ex got mad at me for not begging him to stay. 
he tried to gaslight me into believing that I never wanted him because I don't get upset when he, listen, that's why we should be. That's how we should be. When people want to leave, that's how they manipulate you. So they want, they want to see how you react. They want to see how you're going to react, how you're going to beg them. That's manipulation. People will manipulate because they want to use their ego. They want to feel good. They want to know that they have the power to make you react, to make you not sleep, to make you not eat because people take your power. Listen, do you know as human beings, do you know as human beings, what we do most is take people power? We're timeless, right? <laughs> hey, Reese. As human beings, we take people power. Yeah, money. Yeah, I do. I did. I did quote a, um, a psalm. I do read the Bible too, by the way. <laughs> I do. I do read the Bible. <laughs> I mean, I know what the Bible says sometimes now. I have learned to trust. Yeah, listen, we have to understand. We have to understand. Hey, Anada, how are we doing? We have to understand. Please. Every day you should free yourself. Hey, Lisa. Every day you got to free yourself. Every day. And some of the things that we hold on to is people the most. People. We hold on to them. Them people for life and death. Let me explain something to you. Let me go back to my original. Oh, somebody asked me, how do you keep your peace? Peace is a choice. I know the answers that I give you is not what you want to hear. But I don't want to give you the answers that you want to hear because the ones that you want to hear is the physical ones that those don't last forever. Those conditional ones. Go off on them. Tell them your mind. Those don't work. It works sometimes in some situations. But I'm telling you right now. <laughs> what about the decades, right? Hey, P. Wanna, I'm telling you right now. If you begin to choose, when you see that you have that power, understand that people have the right to react People have the right to express themselves. People have the right to hate you. Do you know that people have the right to hate you? Do we, do we understand this? People have the right to hate you. Don't they? Because they, don't, they can't hate you. They're hating. And they're hating on the inside. Hate happens on the inside. Hate happens on the inside. So if they hate you, that's the inside that's hurting. That, not you. Right? People have the right to hate you. People have the right to dislike you. They have the right to talk about you. They have the right. What are you going to do? Shut them out? What are you going to do? Shut them out? You can't shut them out. But understand, is people bury themselves with their own words. Because what you speak comes from the heart, and your heart is messing up every time you speak it. Your heart is already polluted. Peace is a choice. And when you take that choice, and you know that you have a choice, you'll always choose it. When you understand that you have a choice in how you react, how you behave, how you feel, Lord, you are untouchable. This is why we keep being touched because you don't have a choice. You have a reaction. A reaction is a choice. Do we know that? Hey, V Jones, thank you for joining me. It's more painful staying than leaving. Facts. You were never good enough for them. On the flip side, I knew he was never on my level. Listen, some people... The truth is, hey, Marlene, darling, how are you doing? Hey, Aisha. Hey, Lisa. The truth is, you will never be good enough for some people. See, people who are not good enough for themselves, you can't be good enough for them. People who are looking for some kind of perfection, that they, who never, people who don't want you, actually. You know what? The ones, the, the people that you'll never be good for is ones who don't want you. Well, the people who don't want you, you can never be good enough for them, jokers. They remind you every day. Hey, Ingrid. They remind you every day. Listen, you remember, you ain't doing this. You know, but you know why we stay? Do you know why we stay? You know, when I was in Iraq my first time, the first time I got blown up, I wanted to leave. But I couldn't because if I left, I was going to jail and I had no way out. Hey, Passion, how are you doing, Brooklyn? When I was in Iraq the first time, when I, well, well, the first time I drove over a bomb and it blew me up. I knew I was dead or I wanted to leave. If I survived that, I was ready to leave. Hey, Kelly, I was ready to leave. Lord, I was ready to leave. But I couldn't. I had no way out. I had no ride. I had no helicopter. I had no plane. And if I left, I would have go to jail, so I had to stay. When you're in a danger area, when you, ex see, some of you keep being anxious. Anybody anxious here? A anybody anxious? Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Rena Love. Is anybody anxious? <laughs> I forget the wrong door. The reason why many of us are anxious is because we know we're in the wrong place. 
That's why. Because you, you sense danger. If you keep sensing danger, anxiety is a part of, it's an expression of it. Anxiety is an expression of you sensing danger. You are expecting something to happen. That's why some of you are anxious. You have to leave the environment. It's the environment that causes it. Anxiety is not a disease, y'all. It's not a disease. You are in an area where you are expect. When I was in Iraq, expecting to get shot, you have to be anxious. You have to. Because you're waiting for your, you know, unalignment. Is that what you say? Unalignment? Is that a word? I hate that word, unalive. I don't even know why we use it. Can we use it then? <laughs> Many of us are waiting, waiting every day. We waiting. Thank you, SS. Every day we waiting for the day. Every day we waiting for that day. Oh, is that a word, um, Patty? Patty? I, I don't know. We waiting for our demise every day. That's why we anxious. Oh, you can't say that. Oh man, I didn't know it. The reason why we are anxious is because we are in a place where we are expecting something to happen. If you expect something to happen all the time, of course you're going to be anxious. You must leave the environment. Hey, Tony, Lawrence, how are you doing? You must leave. I remember the first, when I got struck by lightning, 2015, I just came from Iraq. I was already suffering. And I got struck by lightning. It does, uh, Rina Love. And when I get struck by lightning, <laughs> you said that folks on the casino said that. When I get struck by lightning, the first thing I did when I woke up, because when, when you get struck, it <laughs> right? You, you, your lights go, yeah? Right? Because it's too much energy. It's too much. Ah. So I, as soon as I got struck by lightning, it, I, I, I went. I left. I don't know where I went, but I went somewhere. I didn't see no light. There was no light there. There was no tunnel. There was, I didn't hear, come Caroline. I didn't hear nothing like that. But when I woke up, <laughs> when I woke up, right? As soon as I opened my eyes, I began to crawl. Because the light didn't pitch me and it landed on the floor and I landed on my stomach. And when I woke up, I began to crawl. And as I began to crawl on my knees, because I know if I get struck there once, I don't want to stay there again to get struck again. I don't want to sit there again to get strike. So you know what I did? I start crawling. Again, I passed out again because I was so scared or, I don't know, I passed out the second time. I woke up, I began to crawl again because I had to find a place where it was safety. You know, in my mind, it was getting to a place of safety. The reason why we have anxiety is because we stay in the area where we have been played, we have been, you know, harassed and abused, disrespected. Of course you have anxiety. Move yourself, remove yourself, move, crawl if you can't walk. Got my own motion, thank you. Crawl if you can't walk, I have to crawl. What you experience is what I've experienced. I've experienced all in relationship crap. I have crawled out of my marriage too. Carl, I'm glad I had a chance to catch it. Thank you, Twanda, how are you doing? Listen, got blew up and then struck my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, right? I didn't live the safest life or the most, I didn't have the most luck. <laughs> you don't look at what you've been through. I know, right? <laughs> because to be honest, going through things, you don't go, you don't go through things. You accept things. If you accept it, you don't have to go through it. So you have to go through it because you have to accept it. Some things you don't have to accept. It's happened. Especially after, especially when it happened. Oh, it happened. You can't go back and change it. You can't. There are seven, there are eight billion people on this planet. And we are all connected. Why are we so separated? Why are we so, why do we feel like we need somebody so much? Why do we feel, why do we feel we need somebody so much? We need that one specific person because we have convinced ourselves that that person is the only person that can make us feel. When you are the only person that actually can make you feel because it's you, it's coming from you. It has to be inside of you to experience it. Everything is you. Everything is you pushed out. Him, her, your neighbors, your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, your baby daddy, your baby. Everything is you pushed out. You attract everything to come to you. Understand, you teach people how to play you. I want to go back to that. You teach people how to love you. Let me go back. What I said is this. 
Facts. Facts, Miss Price. Facts. We are humans. We're not put here to be, that's why we have 8 billion of us. Yet we feel lonely. I have nobody. Why? You have 8 billion other beings here. And you have trees, you have animals, you have dogs, and you still feel alone. Something is off with you. Your root chakra is out. You're not balanced. Hey, Yasmina, how are you doing? We teach folks how to love us. By the way, how we love ourselves. Not by stop cheat. You know, many times we hear begging people how to stop cheating. You know, you, you tell people the wrong thing. Don't cheat on me. Stop cheating on me. You don't tell people that. Especially when somebody keeps cheating on you. It's not a fact that cheating is the issue. It's respect is the issue. They don't respect you. They don't care if you hurt. Somebody who could actually sleep good at night while you hurt don't like you. Listen to the listen to the listen to the story. Somebody who could cause your pain and go to sleep. People don't think they're really thinking about you. Let me say that again. A person who can cause your pain and go to sleep. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what? What? You ever had your child sick? You ever had your baby sick? And you couldn't sleep either? Your child is sick. I don't care how tired you are. You ain't sleepy. Because your child is sick. Have you ever had that before? When your child hurts, you don't want to go sleep. You making sure that you're... You ever had a, bit, a sick child? I know you all did. I know some of you all are in your 30s, 40s, 50s. You are babies. You know what I'm talking about. 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 Because when, have you ever prayed to God to take your child's pain and give it to you instead? Have you? Have you? Because you see your child suffering with whatever they're suffering with. And you God, I'll carry the, I'll carry their, I'll carry my child's burden. Pick me. <laughs> you know what that is? Do you know what that is? That is love. That is love. So when, when somebody actually wants you or love you or respect you, they don't do the things that would bring you pain because they have to suffer with you. So it's like they are punishing themselves. It's not true. Watch people's behavior. You ain't got to ask people. You ain't got to beg people to stop cheating, stop lying. It's just that they don't love you. They don't respect you. They don't honor you. They don't hurt when you hurt. The truth is, when you are connected to someone, when I move, you move. Just like that. When I grew, when I was a drill sergeant in the army, I had this cadence. And I would be watching my soldiers. Left, left. And I would say, when I move, you move. They would say, just like that. Because I had more females in my platoon. I don't know why I have all those females in my damn platoon. When I move, you move. Just like that. When I groove, you, you, can you see me as a drill sergeant? Oh, where? If you look up there, you can see my dress on hat. See up there? See it? You go, you probably see my hat right there? When I was just being a dress on? See it right there? That's my dress on hat right there. I see, I see that dress on too. Let me show you all too. See it right there? That's my dress on hat. That's what we bad to do. When I move, you move. The thing is, we're not connected. We're not connected. We're not connected. You can't see it, Carlina? It's, it's right up there. See it right there? Right there, that right there. It's my hat. It's my dresser hat. I can't put it on, because it's on the, uh, it's on an award. But yeah. People are just not connected to you. That's why they don't really, they can't feel what you feel. You can't feel what they feel. Listen, you teach folks how to play with you. That's why you always end up the one who loses. And the one who loses is always the one who suffers. The one who loses. See, if you're always losing, it's because you're playing the game wrong. In the beginning stages, when you meet somebody, relax. You're doing too much. If you match their effort, listen, number one, let me let me let me teach you all some stuff. Cause I don't think they, they taught you about how men were or how men are. 
I think you all don't understand how men are. I think you all have all these people coming on social media, all these people coming on social media telling you all a version of men and women, uh, but we don't really know the psychology behind each other. Hey, Gina, how are we doing? Hey, Judith, we know the psych. We need to know the psychology. It's not because, tell my father, <laughs> it's not because men are evil or men are bad. Men are governed by different hormones too. It's like when you're on your period, your hormones are ridiculous. You are terrible to be around. You're angry. You crave sweets. You're always annoyed. You're sensitive. You're emotional. And you want candy and cookies and cakes all day. Well, our hormones, our testosterone is act up too. In the beginning stages, hey, Gina, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing good too. Very hormonal. I'm coming. Men love bomb with all their excitement. There's no such thing as love bomb. Please, there's no love bomb. Let's talk about, you know what? Let's talk about love bomb for a second. Love bombing. I hate that term so much. And I think that's an excuse that we use. Now, I know that you won't understand what I'm saying, but hear me up. There's no such thing as love bomb. No matter what you throw in, remember. If I show you a chip, you know it's a chip. But do you know it's a chip until you eat it? You know it's a chip. But do you know how it tastes until you eat it? Do you know how your body digests it or break it down? Do you understand how the, it connects to the body before you eat it? No, you will never know. Until you eat it, you will never know what a chip is. If I tell you this is a chip and you never had it, if I describe it, you will never know what it is about. If I tell you exactly what it is, what it tastes like, you still wouldn't know. Until you put that chip in your mouth, you will never experience that chip. Right or wrong? It's like me telling you water. Oh my God, water is wet. And if you go inside the water or a pool, you're going to get wet. And you're going to have water all over your skin. And you're going to feel like something liquid. You will never know until you experience yourself. Everything is experienced inside of you. Amen? Come on. Let's do, let's talk about accountability. Please. If you want me to continue and you don't want to feel bad for me saying what I say, 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 let's go, Kirk. Say, let's go, Kirk. Say, let, say let, let's go. Say, let's get it. Because <laughs> I'm about to throw some words in here that you all ain't gonna like. <laughs> Everything is only experienced on the inside of you. You cannot experience anything outside of you. Not water, not food, not love, not happiness, not joy, not words. Love bombing, you can't experience. If you only could experience things within you, no one has power in how you experience it. True or false? If you experience it and you are tricked, <laughs> oh Lord, if you are the one taking it in the wrong way, if you are the one misreading it, you are the one who doesn't know how to experience things. You can't read your own experience. Hey, Miss Sada, you don't know how to tell what you are experiencing. Because nothing is experienced. So people can love bomb you. They can lie to you. They can cheat. If you experience all things within you, nobody can lie to you. This is how we know everything. This is how we as humans know everything. We know it all because we are so connected. Let me tell you how we also know. Me and you are one, period. I don't care if you like it or not. If we together or not. If we intimate or not. Again, this go back to the way how the Christ that you believe in, the God that you read about, and the energy that you hear about. We all experience the same energy. 
That same energy is expressed in you differently based on how you feel, how you perceive, and how you think. How I think, feel, and perceive is expressed in me differently. It's the same energy. It's no different in energy. It's the same damn energy. Yes or no? What's up, big country? How are you doing, girl? Good to see you. That, that's one of my old soldiers I taught in basic training right there. Everything, everything is inside of you. You only know the sunlight when you experience it on the inside. You know there's trees when you experience you ex everything's experiencing it on the inside. And since everybody is connected, everybody is one, everybody is all in one, one energy. How do you not tell? The thing is, you are disconnected. You think you are disconnected. The problem is not that they love bomb you or they this or they lie to you. The problem is I am disconnected. Amen? I am this because when you connect back to the creator, as you call him God, you call him Jesus, you call him Allah, you call him Jehovah, you call it energy, you call it source, you call it whatever you want to call it. If you reconnect, hey, Miss Howard, hey, April, if you reconnect to the creator, everything is experienced and coming from that one source. So when you speak, I know what you mean. When you move, I move because I see you. But when you dis see many of us, many of us, the thing is many of us, right? Many of us, what many of us do, what many of us do, like I said before, what many of us do and we used to do and, and we continually do is that we disconnect from the creator to make the connection stronger with the other person. When you all get what I just said, say amen. Some of y'all gonna take a while. Some of y'all gonna take a while. Some of y'all gonna take a while. Let me know when you get it. When you get it, say yes. When you get it, say yes. Let me know when you're ready. Because I'm telling you right now, this is how we do it. This is what we do. We, we got it yet? We got it yet? The truth is, the truth is, some of us, <laughs> some of us have to disconnect from the creator or from God to reconnect with that person because the alignment is off. The alignment is off. If you stay with the creator, you cannot stay with that person. And if you stay with this person, you cannot stay with the creator because it's two different frequencies that you are picking up. Come on now. It's two different frequencies. So many of you keep losing yourself because you are choosing the connection with a human over the connection with the creator. You disconnect the, or the you know, when you meet somebody, boy, I'm when you, when you meet somebody, when you talk to somebody, one thing about this thing is this, one thing about this energy, this creator, this God, this Christ, this Jesus, this Jehovah, whatever you call it. One thing about that energy is this right here. It will tell you, it will continue to tell you those sweet voices in your ears. Ah, no, don't do it. No, no, that ain't it. No, something is off. But he is doing, or she is doing everything. Nah, I still don't do it. You know, the thing is, before I meet you, I'm already introduced to you. Before I met you. Hey, PPC, how are you doing? Before I met you in person, I already seen you. My spirit, I already met you. See, my spirit travels like yours. Our spirit travels. Our spirit's a whole. Hey, 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 hey young. Right, Riri? Our spirit's a whole. We know. Life knows all. And when life is telling you, no. Believe life. Don't believe your ego. Because your ego only wants to fulfill your desires. That's all the ego wants. <laughs> I just might, PPC. I, I just might. The ego, we are not, exactly. The ego is just trying to fulfill your desires. It's making your desires come out. It's the ego just want, listen, the ego just care about your desires being fulfilled. Hey, Sherry, that's all the ego wants. So this is why we always hurt. This is why every relationship hurts us because we disconnect. We are quick to disconnect from the creator. We are quick. Listen, we, we, we do it quick too. We disconnect so quick. We're ready to go. Hey, listen, I like this when the sex is so good. Especially when you have good sex. Jesus Christ. 
Boy, when that, listen, especially when you have good sex. Oh, Lord. Hey, Carolyn. Especially when you have good sex, you disconnect from God quick. And you know what? You always say, you know, I could always go back to God. Yeah. You know, I could always go back because God is my only relationship. Hey, Rosetta. You know, God, you know, you know why we love God so much? Because we think God is always there. It's the one relationship that we know that no matter if I could, I could do as I please. Listen, I can do as I please. And God will accept me. It's the only relationship that works for us. Amen. Come on now. As a matter of fact, the reason why you love God so much is because he's far away. If God was close by, he would piss you off every single day. Everybody, you can't. I can't. I've heard time wrong with somebody. I, I can't be around people all the time. I can't be around them. I don't want them. Ah, to, I got to see them every day. If God was in your house, married to you, he would probably go crazy too. Hey, Makia, how are you doing? Probably go insane. You would probably hate Jesus. I can't stand him. Who you can't stand? Jesus. What? But he's the man. <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah, you can't win it now. Mm -hmm. What you mean you can't stand Jesus? Girl, give it to me. Girl, trust me, you know, you it's not what you want. You're going to always feel judged. You're going to always feel judged. He's going to look at you funny. Every time you slip up, he's going to look at you like, mm -hmm. talking about let's pray. I want to pray. I want to talk. Who? I'm going to ask Jesus who is Keisha. He thought somebody who he healed. He touched her. You touched? What you mean you touched Keisha? Don't touch Keisha. What do you mean? I told you don't be touching these bitches, Jesus, but you touch, you don't touch Keisha. I don't trust Keisha. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, we need help. This is why, hey Kelly, this is why Keisha says she's here. My bad, Keisha. <laughs> this is why. Our only great relationships are with people who have already passed on. Hey, Miss America. The folks who have already passed on and moved to a different dimension is the ones that you get along with because they don't bother you. They don't give you anxiety. They don't, they're not always there. They always want to talk. You can't deal with healthy relationship with people who are in front of your face. This is why even Christ said, oh, you love me. You love your father, but you like, you haven't met him and you can't love your own brothers and sisters who's there around you all the time. This is why. That's why you keep saying, I love Jesus. I love God. He's my best friend. But look at your life. Look at your life. Look at our life. You don't look like you love God that much. How are you, how are you always hurt? God don't talk to God, so you God don't talk to you all the time. You don't listen to God. If he's your best friend, you don't listen to him. His spiritual teaching, how are you doing? What? He wasn't there the other day when he was telling you, leave the boy alone, leave that girl alone, the bad news. <laughs> Yo. <they don't laughs> we gotta stop the nonsense. We are teaching people every day how to play games with us, and we keep losing the game because we're giving away our secrets. You talk too damn much. You're talking to that man or that woman too much. You want to sit at night and pillow talk and talk. If you ever do this to me, if you ever did this, this is what my ex-boyfriend did, my ex-girl, and you talk. You talk the whole game. It's like you go to a game, you gambling, and you want to talk your hand. Why? Hey, Jay. Why? Telling people how to trigger you? Why? Every time you do this, I'm triggered. Why? Why is that their business? Your trigger is your business. Your trigger says that you are not free in that place. It's not him or her. It's you aren't free. If you trigger me, then you, your triggers, you, you, you are not a gun. You are not a weapon. You didn't come with a, a trigger. Please stop the garbage talk. Stop the acceptable TikTok Social media talk. It is not healthy. Social media is ruining us because we pick up all these stupid sayings. Say, uh, you trigger me. And you think because you say you trigger me, I'm the one who's wrong. When you are the one trigger because you had a gun going off. I can't feel free to say what I want to say. 
because you are triggered and you think that that's my issue and not yours, that's the problem. Life is telling you that you're not free if you are triggered, but yet you want to be triggered still. Hey, Perpetual, how we doing? Life is showing you something is off because you feel all these feelings, but yet this is how you teach people how to play you. You teach people how to love you. Hell with love. You teach them how to play with you also. And you are always losing with everybody that you choose. Hey, Sophia Paul. Everybody that you date, you lost. How do you lose every game? How? How? You're losing every game? And you are off God? And you have a good heart? What is going on with your heart? Why is your heart not? Why is your heart? Why is your heart sucking? Why are you going to put your heart into it all the time? You need your heart to beat, to pump blood, not to be played with. You are responsible for your heart, not me. I give him my heart. Why he have his own heart? <laughs> Thank you, Twanda. Twanda said, you are a true meaning of life coach. Thank you. That means a lot. I'm telling you. I you I gave him my heart. Where was where was his? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So you gave him your heart? Why? What happened to his? He listen, check this out. Check this out. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> can, I, can I ask you a question? It's funny, right? C can I ask you a question? Please? You are my, uh, can I ask you a question? <laughs> now you're now you on a live. You can't say that word. Sacred consultant is on a live. Now you're on a live. <laughs> I can't say that word. They said that they're going to block me if I said that word. You come at the right time, perpetual? But yeah, listen, I'm telling you. Listen. Let me tell you. Listen. Would you give your money to invest to someone who don't know how to invest it? To someone who mess up their own money? That cut deep, huh? <laughs> Would you give your money to invest to someone? Would you give your money to someone to invest it when they invest it and they lost all their money? Think about it. Would you? Yes or no? Greetings, Zen Master from Palm Beach. Greetings. Blessed. It's a new matrix of it. Is the matrix helping keep people stuck in policies? Facts. SS said no. Natasha said no. Rina Love said no. Renata said no. Rosetta said no. Judith said no. Right. So if somebody ain't taking care of their hearts, if somebody ain't taking care of their heart, why do you give them yours? To invest in. Wait, what, do you, what do you think that they're going to do? Look at people's lives. I want you to look at people's lives. Look at a man or a woman's life. When you meet them, look at their lives. Look at how they carry themselves. Look at the, way, the words that they speak. Look at their most dominant feelings and emotions. Look at their, what they are suffering with. What their struggles are with. Look at their lifestyle. Are they investing their heart into what they are experiencing? Yeah, are they are they are they take are they using their heart to the full, you know, capacity? Probably not. So why would you give them your heart to mess up? Your heart is for you to experience this life. Their heart is for them to experience the same thing. And if I experience life fully, and he or she experience life fully. Then when we come together, we experience life fully together. That's what it means. It's not that let me give you my heart for you to see me. No. No, 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 no. Me giving you my heart don't make you see me. Me giving you my heart. Listen, when I love you and you love me, I'm not exchanging hearts. We're sharing the vibration of love. My heart should be beating fully. Your heart beating fully. Your heart has love. My heart has love. 
when we come together, two or more gathered in my name, I shall be in the midst. Love. That means the room shall be filled. See, when I sit here, my energy feel with the feeling that I have, my heart and my love, I expand. Love is expanded. My energy expands outwards. If two of us, moving like in the church, <laughs> Miss Howard, if two of us occupy this space, there's more energy in this room. Right or wrong? Do we, do we understand? Do we understand? If two or more are gathered, it's an expansion of energy. And if it's the same vibration, Lord, is stronger. Because there's two. I don't have to give you my heart. A matter of fact, the only way I can love, the only way I can love you is with my heart. The only way I can experience your love is with my heart. So I have to keep my heart in there to experience yours. If I can't experience yours, listen, stop giving away your heart. Your heart is yours. Stop doing that nonsense. I gave, I gave him everything. What, what, what do you have? What do you have? Now, let me give you all one rule. Can I give you all one rule? Can I give you all one rule? And then I'm, and then I'm gonna be done with this life because you're not gonna have me talking for no six hours. Hey, by the way, if you ain't following me on YouTube, please follow me on YouTube. My name on YouTube is Conscious Kirk with a K, two Ks, Conscious with a K. Hey, Rhonda, blessings. And Kirk with a K. Please follow me on YouTube. I put videos every single day for you all to watch. I put to, to teach people. If you if you are on this live and you watch, go to my YouTube channel every day, you will find a video uploaded every single day. There's somebody need to hear something about something in this world. And that's what I do. So again, hey Drez, if you on Facebook or TikTok or something, check my YouTube and follow me on YouTube. Conscious Kirk, you might like it. I put full videos there every day. I want to do little small videos on TikTok. On Facebook, I don't even mess with videos because Facebook is tripping. Listen, I'm going to give you all a rule. Okay? Okay, thank you, Joseph. And yeah, I, I remember you. I'm going to give you all one rule, the rule of thumb. Kansas in the house, Jen Jen. Here's the rule of thumb. Thank you so much, Rosetta. Thank you so much. Thank you. For you making me blush. Here's the deal. If you gonna give somebody your heart, Indiana Pilots in the house, Song uh, Cannon, how you doing? If you're gonna give somebody your heart, give it to everything on earth, in heavens, on earth, and the seas. Let me say that again. If you're gonna use your heart to love, Thank you, Ms. Howard, that you are always supporting me. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Rhonda. If you give your heart out, give it to everything, not just one person. The problem is, if all your investment is in one place, you suck. You suck. That's a big risk. That's why you have anxiety. Your investment of love, you don't love nothing else besides well, that one person. You telling me you don't, you don't love nothing else in this world? You don't care about the air, the trees, the dogs, the cat, the little mosquitoes. You don't care about nothing at all. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for the gifts, Stephanie. Someone says, fall in love with everything. Thank you, Kelly. It says, fall in love with everything. See, many of you only fall in love once in a while. Once in a while. And when that while comes, it's a big deal. It's too much pressure. Because it's one time that I'm in love and you don't even think that is you doing it. Thank you, Rosetta. You don't even think that is you doing it. So when you, fall, when you fall in love with that one person at one time, you're nervous. You're scared to death because you begin to see yourself elevated. And you know, love, see, love, love, love will keep elevating. And you can't stop it. And as you go up, it's like climbing the ladder. You get when you look down, you get scared because you know where you came from. You you remember the last time that you fell, and you get scared. The trick. <laughs> I don't care about mosquitoes. <laughs> you know, if you fall in love with the mosquitoes, they won't bite you. If you fear the mosquitoes, they will bite you. 
I'm just saying. If you fear the dog, he will bite you. If you love the dog, he leaves you alone. It's two different frequencies. We, we, we got to be careful. It's understanding energy. You must fall in love. Distribute your love equally to all life. Because remember, everything is life. Everyone is life. Everything is life. Everything you see is life. Everything that has breath is life. The ones who can't breathe are the ones who breathe. The ones who just stand, sway to the right is life. Fall in love with everything so that it wouldn't be such a big deal. So that when one thing or one thing or one thing or one person or one person or one thing or one person walks away, you are perfectly fine still. You hear me? Fall in love with everything so that when one thing leaves, <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh my God. Oh, uh, uh, I'm dead. Because you give all your investment. Thank you, Shog. It was good seeing you. How to stop fearing something? That's a good question. Is that right? How do you stop fearing something? You stop fearing things when you understand it. You stop fearing things when you understand them. Fear comes from the unknown. When you know something, there's no need to be fear. Listen, if you don't know what a snake is or how a snake bites and how a snake eats and how a snake lengthens, you're gonna always be afraid. But when you learn about the snake and you hang around the snake for a while, you know you realize all the fear disappears because you understand. Fear comes from not understanding. Above all, seek understanding. The more understanding, the less fear. Seek wisdom. The reason why we fear so much is because we have so much unknown or un misunderstanding because we don't understand this. Hey, Bar Beauty. Thank you for the gift. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. She just came in blessing me. She just came in. I just saw her came in and she just blessed me already. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. But yeah, fall in love with everything, man. We have to. And when you do that, you're not afraid anymore. Thank you, Artemis. When you do that, it's all love. Thank you. What if you understand it and still fear? You're not. When you under, so let, let me tell you this. Can I tell you this? Understanding. The reason why we have the most fear, one thing that we don't understand is ourselves. Because remember, everything is experienced through you. Thank you, Shamina. Hi, Shamina. Everything is experienced through you. If you know you, you know everything. If you know you, you know everything. Let me say that again. If you understand you, you know every single thing. <laughs> v Jones. <laughs> Seriously. If you know you, you know everything. Because everything is experienced. That's how we know a cheesecake. That's how we know orange. That's how we know mango. Even if your eyes close. And you, make, and you bite a pineapple. You know it's a pineapple. Why? See, if I hold the pineapple outside of you and say, hey, guess what this is? You will never know. What's up, my brother? Man, I, my brother just blessed me. Hey, thanks, Jonathan. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. That's one of my brothers who served with me in Iraq. Was it once or twice? <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Oh, man, it's your birthday. So you blessed me on your birthday. 46 today. That's what I'm talking about. 46, I'm retired. Blessings, man. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. But yeah, man, 46, when I'm three years behind you, still living a life, dude, still small, still all big old small, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Hard to see the snake in the grass until they strike. And even when they strike, you'll be all right. Don't be afraid of things. Thank you, Shamina. Seriously, I, I, think, I, think, I think we are too afraid, man. I think we are too afraid. Is that rigid? Rigel, how you doing? How are you doing? Since when you came in my life, how long have you been here? <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you. But yeah, we got to stop being afraid. If you get hurt, you know why? We, you know why we are so afraid? Because we don't know how to get back up when we fall. If you learn how to get back up, you won't be afraid. I promise you. If you learn how to get back up, which you know, but you just don't want to because sometimes it's too much work. But if you understand getting up, you won't understand falling down. You will never. 
The reason why we are so afraid is not because we are afraid. We just don't know how to get back up. Listen, I'm, I promise you, there is no need to fear. You know, fear not. Those two words. You know how much times they appear in the Bible? Fear not. How many times? Can somebody tell me? How many times does that phrase appear in the Bible? Fear not. How many times? Anybody want to try? Anybody know? Have any idea? Any, anyone? Someone say 368. Is that right or wrong? Someone said 368 times. Hey, Amanda Nagels, how we doing? Fear not appears in the Bible about 365 times. Seriously. Yet, it's the one thing that we do 365 is fear. Never be afraid of being hurt. Thank you, Stephanie, for the stars. Never be afraid of being hurt. Hurt is inevitable, especially when you're in your feelings. Hurt is a hurt is a matter of perception. Perspectives, I mean. Hurt is a matter of perspective. Healing comes from perspective. If you learn how to change perspectives, you learn how to heal. You go from one frequency to the next. And the perspective, some of you kill your vibes. Let me tell you how some of you kill your own vibes. I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm ugly. I'm tired. You kill your own vibes. That's when you have a perspective of you being ugly or you being overweight or you being dumb. You mean your own vibe will change your perception and it will change your whole, your whole frequency. But imagine if you shift your frequency or shift your, pers your perspective of yourself. Imagine how you feel. Your whole frequency elevates. It changes. So healing is a matter of just changing or learning how to use your mind, your agility in your mind to change perspectives. That's all it is. If you keep looking at the same thing every day, feeling the same feeling, thinking the same thoughts, you stay in the same sickness. Because that's, it's called, what that is called, it's called you are in harmony. What you think, what you feel, what you see, what you hear, it's, it's all harmony. But I'm telling you right now, yeah, hey, hey, Patsy. But if you understand, if you can change your perspective, man, you won't. I'm just not ready to fail again. Nobody fails. Nobody fails, man. We don't fail. We don't really fail, especially in relationships. We don't fail. If you think that way, then of course you're going to feel defeated. Change the way how you think. Change how you see things. I'm telling you, change how you see things. If you see failing, as many things I was unsuccessful at, and those things that, was, that I was unsuccessful at put me in a different path of something else. Something that I love. Something that I respect. Is it failing? If it led me somewhere else? Maybe it's guidance. See, what you see as failing, I call it the rod and thy staff guided me. That's what I call it. You see failing, I see guidance. Thy rod, what, 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 what is it? Thy rod and thy staff, what? Shifting the mindset seems to be the hardest to accomplish. It's the hardest to accomplish because you are attached to an idea. You are believing something too strongly. See, many of us are attached to an idea. You are attached. That means you really believe that it's real. You believe it's true. So the stronger the attachment to the idea is the harder it is. See, attachment is the root of suffering. Okay? Facts, Nick, facts, Nikisha. The, the, the reason why it's so hard to leave is because we are, we are attached to it so much. We don't want to lose it because we think that's all there is. It's not. Learn how to release things. Let things be as it is, as they are. Because you can't change them. You can't fix them. You can't put them back together when they break. If the human being learns how to let things be, 
the human being will stop suffering them as much. See what I'm saying? We have to learn, man. It's not failure. Everything that you do and accomplish is not failure. Some things are guidance. Some things are meant to happen. Some things, you know, when life shifts to a direction, it doesn't go to failure. See, just because your direction shifts doesn't mean that everything is failed. If you keep going, I'm telling you, if you keep going, if consistency, if you keep doing the same thing every day, consistency, after a while, you, you get what you want. Listen, my original live was about this. You teach people how to play with you. We teach people how to play with us. Every time we react, what we accept, what we do, what we allow, how we behave, our nagging, we teach people our own rules. Your rules should be on you. Hey, only one key. Your rules should be your secret. Stop telling people how you play your games. I know you all want to talk and have pillar talk and you think that, you know, but I'm telling you, subconsciously and unconsciously, people use your rules against you. Have you ever told somebody a secret? Have you ever confided in someone and then the friendship stop and then all them things come out? They didn't mean for it to come out in the beginning, but now they want to touch you. They want to make you feel a little pain, a little suffering, and bam, it all comes out and you hurt. And I'm not saying to not trust your partner. I'm saying... You don't have to always nag and talk and always go off and always react and always cry and scream. Let If you teach people what you are going to put up with or not, and you hold fast to that. Because sometimes when you, sometimes you're going to have to do what you're going to do to protect your boundaries. Sometimes you're going to have to leave, right? Sometimes you're going to have to walk away and stay away. Yeah, Vicky. Hey, Kiwesa, how are we doing? Quest what? Sometimes you have to, man, listen, if we learn to play the game and stop worrying about your heart, it's good. You have a good heart. I have, I'm a good woman. I'm a good man. I don't even know what the hell that means. I'm a good man. You will never hear me call myself a good man. You will never say, hear me say, I'm a good man. Why? What's a good man? What's a bad man? Somebody who cheats? What if he's good everywhere else? What if he's a good father? Is, is, is it a bad man? We don't know. I'm a good man. Hey, Candy, how are you doing? I'm a good man. I'm a good woman. I deserve. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. Go get what you deserve. Go get what you deserve. We all always go back to I'm a good woman. I deserve better. Then go get your better. But just because you did, you are, you, you know, when the person came to Jesus, hey, Jade, when the person came to Jesus and said, good, good man, my good master, um, how do one, uh, what, what do you ask him? How do one get eternal life? Is that what he asked? Exactly. How do one get a, attain a, uh, eternal life? He said, well, why thou dost call me good? Why are you calling me good? And what he says next? He says, there is no good but the one above. And the, and the what he said, why do you call yourself good? You see, listen, the thing about you calling yourself good is that, you know what a bunch of good people do? They talk crap about bad people. That's all, that's all you all do. Hey, there ain't nothing else to do. You gossip about people, what they do, how, how they shouldn't do it, how mean they are. All you do is gossip and you judge everything else based on what you think your standards are. Good afternoon, Bernice. Hey, Candy Candy, how are you doing? The thing is, stop saying that you're good because when you think that you're good, you think God is blessing you with something good. If you're good, when you play the scratch off, you'll win. If your goodness mean anything. 
If your goodness means something in this universe, in this dimension, if you play the lotto, you'll win because you deserve to win. If your goodness means something, if you go to the casino, you should win because you're a good man, you're a good woman. You should go play the damn lotto. Why ain't you playing it? You good. God's going to bless you with the lotto, with the lottery, right? Stop the nonsense. Cut that crap out. It's not true. It is lie. Somebody been lying to you guys. How about you guys wait for something to happen? Listen, you can turn your own frequency on or off, high or low, to attract what you want because that's what you are. You could turn your own frequency like you turn a stereo in your car, like you turn the TV on to a different channel. You can turn your own frequency to attract high, low, bad, good, positive. You is yours. Who's doing it for you? Hey, Vendris, how are you doing? Nobody doing it for you. It's yours to learn. This you here to learn how to use you. The tools that you have, you are here to learn how to use it. Listen, when you buy a toolbox, as a man, I'm a man. I bought a toolbox from Walmart. No idea how to use tools. Nobody taught. I didn't. I, I wasn't born with knowledge on how to use tools. Nobody taught me how to use tools. I had to figure it out. I have to figure out what do I need to use this tool on. Go ahead. Use the screwdriver on some that needs a wrench. Go ahead. See if it works. Learn how to use you. Learn how to tweak you. Learn how to elevate you. Learn you. Learn to understand you. Because if you understand you, everything in this universe makes sense. Because everything is you. Everything is you pushed out. Everything is who you are. Everything is your reflection. If you know you, you know him, you know her, you know that. But if you don't know you, you don't know a damn thing. There's nothing to know because everything is expressed or experienced within you. What's up, King um, LTL? How are we doing? Good evening. Y'all get what I'm saying? Oh, you took us there right back. Hey, Renitra. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all kind of quiet. Y'all quiet. Nobody, I ain't got no comments. I, I ain't seen no comments on YouTube. I ain't seen no comments on TikTok. I ain't seen no comments on Facebook. What are you all, where you all at? Hey, Charmaine, how we doing? You good? <laughs> you all there? Ghosting up in, <laughs> over here. Feeling better, good, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Listen, you have to learn you have to learn how to use tool. You are the tool. And if you put you to whatever tool that you want to be, you can do anything. If you keep getting hurt. Okay, Amanda. If you keep getting hurt. Okay, Sandra. I get you. I get you. If you keep getting hurt or broken, you're using, the, you're using yourself as the wrong tool, man. You want to get it? I'm just here to remind you guys. I ain't here to judge you all. What you all do is your business. This is your life. Live it. Don't live it. Be happy. Don't be happy. But life is still fulfilled. And life is still happy. Whether you happy or not, life is still happening. Life is still fulfilled. Life is still is going to last for longer than you. So whether you live it to, whether you experience it in a good way or bad way, life still is actually being balanced. Life is balanced. Life is Amazing, whether you like it or not. So I'm just saying, we have to understand. This is one. You have one experience to be here, and a man get your attention, or a woman get your attention. A man or woman take you out. You here for this whole purpose, and you let one person just take you out. Talking about you need healing because they don't want you. Took you, you remove it and you. Your nine months of pregnancy. Thank you, Rhonda. Nine months of pregnancy and you here being stopped. That one sperm that you were a one, that one little sperm that you swam, you you know, that sperm won. You the one who won? <laughs> you won? You even look at somebody and say, wait, that's the sperm that won? <laughs> what was the other sperm? What did they look like? God dang. That's... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But seriously, you won. And you are still defeated. Every 
minute you hurt, every minute you're afraid, every minute you're sad, every minute you're broken, what is breaking you all down? Why are you all so broken? Why are you all so easily hurt? Why are you all so easily hurt? Why are you all so easily hurt? What's really going on, hey, Melita? Why are you all so easily and, and continuously hurt? What's really going on? That is not good to always be hurt. You're doing something wrong. I don't care about, again, I'm not one to debate on God knows my heart stuff. That's the church people talk. That's the people who teach you that nonsense. God knows my heart. Let me stay broke. God knows my heart. Let me be broken. God knows my heart. Let me contract a disease. God knows my heart. My back hurts. God knows my heart. Oh, I can't breathe. My lungs is on fire. It's not about your heart. It's about what are you doing? What are you taking in? What type of information are you taking in? Why are you taking in the stress? Why are you fighting who is trying to leave you? Exactly, only one key. Why are you fighting what's trying to leave you? You're stopping what God is removing. Anytime you stop what God is removing, man, life whoops your ass, don't it? Boy, whenever you try to stop what is leaving, oh my Lord. It drags, you don't it? <laughs> hey, Barbara. It, some of you are being dragged right now because you don't want to let go. It's whooping your ass every day, but you refuse to let go. Lord, you're holding on. Your hands are raw. You're tired. You're dirty. You smell. You, you're angry. You're frustrated. You're miserable. But you're still holding on. Why? Let it go. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you, boo-boo, that when you let go, it's the only way you know what you really have. Only when you let go. Oh, the skin's on your toes gone. <laughs> to be the one, the only way they would change for. I think many people want to be the one the one, oh, got you, got you. Man, when things are moving, let it move in peace. Because if you stop something, if you stop, God, listen, you can't stop God's work. As you call it, people call it God's work. You can't stop God's work. Thank you, Wanda. Seriously, you can't stop God's work. When God, and sometimes, listen, when God is removing somebody from, as, as we call it, I'm just saying what, what, what people say. When God is removing something, I say life, but you say God. When God is removing some something from from you or someone from you, sometimes it's just not for sometimes it's just not for you. It's just, it's, it's it's for them too. Hey, Shine, how are you doing? When God is removing somebody, sometimes. Hey, Mariana, thank you for the stars. Seriously, when God is removing something from your life or someone from your life, it's not just for you. It's for them too. Because remember, you're not the only ones of God's children. It's not just you. It's God's children. See. Some of you all be playing games with God like, you don't want to mess with me. You know who I am? I'm God's property. And God is going to punish you. You is? When my two children come to me because one of them is in trouble or one of them did something wrong, you think one of them could say, you don't know who my daddy is? I'm both of your daddies. I'm both you I can expect. Cotton candy. We cannot say good things don't come easy. Actually, good things come very easy. You ain't got to try to breathe. The air is coming. Without the air, you have nothing. Good things actually, see, this is a part where we learn, kind of, kind of, seriously, this is a part where we learn to suffer. We learn to chase things because we have that belief system that good things don't come easy. Hey, Earlene, good things come easy. Good things come easy. Happy feet, I love you too. Good things come very easy. Love comes easy. Peace comes easy. It's all effortless when you learn how to do it. Happiness comes easy. Joy comes easy. The breath comes easy. I'm still alive, Kelly. Yes, I'm still alive. Everything comes easily. Hey, Giselle. Hey, Gisela. Thanks for joining me. It all comes easy. If you think good things come hard, you're going to have to fight. And the one that comes... See, listen. There's a law that's called the law of least effort. I talk about this all the time. The law of least effort. The law of least effort. It means you ain't got to do much for something that belongs to you. Something that's coming. Do you understand that everything is drawn to you? Everything is drawn to you. Everything. Health, happiness, love, finances, money. 
Everything is drawn to you. Everything is coming to you. Everything is. But based on how you think, based on how you resist, based on how you fear, you push them back. So everything gets stuck. Thank you, Kelly. Everything is stuck. Because you feel, you resist, you push, you're angry, you misery, and you choose based on how you feel what to bring to you. Based on how you feel today is what comes to you. Based on how you feel tomorrow, it comes to you. If you keep changing your feelings, you keep changing what comes to you. Everything is drawn to you. Everything. The law of vibration, the law of attractions, everything is attracted. You are, listen, you have, this law you have. <laughs> I just, I just, I just read somebody's comment. I just read somebody's comment. Somebody said, you see them plump arms? That's what you, <laughs> that's what you're looking at. What you're looking at? I <laughs> oh God! Oh, that made me laugh. You see those those plump arms? I thought you were looking. I thought you was telling me that you love me for um, because I was nice. Oh, uh, I was talking. Hey, cat. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh, oh boy! I just got I just got a little warm. I have to change your thought. Thank you. Yeah, man, but things don't come hard. Things come hard. So when you resist the good things, we got to fight for the, the one that, that's left over. How do you program yourself to do all of this? You do little by little, every day, every day, every day. You program by doing it every day. Program. See, if you say your ABC every day, how did you learn your ABCs? And how did you learn English? <laughs> no, Ceci, when you try. How did you learn English? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rosetta. But how do you learn English? All your ABCs. You did it today. You did it the next day. You did it again. You did it again. You did it again. You did it again. Uh, a, B, C, A, a B, tomorrow. A, B, a, uh, a, B, next day. A, B, and finally you caught on to it. A, 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 B, uh, 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 uh. You know, A, B, and every day you did it. Every day you repeated it. Every day. And after you have, and after you repeated it every day, bam, that program, that ABC program got stuck. Now you can't unknow it. You know, you can't, you, you can't forget it if you try because the program now is stuck. Did you get it? <laughs> You know what I mean? So well, now the program is stuck, A, B, C. And if it's stuck, you can do it backwards too. Z, Y, X, W, V, Y, P, Q, S, R, Q. Uh, I, I do it, but this is a program. Everything is a program. But for the program to be effective and to change, you got to practice it every single day. <laughs> Thank you, Naisha. Seriously, you got to, it's an everyday thing, every single day, tomorrow. Now, and listen, the program don't care. Listen, you remember when you was a baby? And you was in school or your mother tell you, yeah, Tommy, your mom tell you, you know, learn your, say your ABCs. I don't care if you were happy. I don't care if it was in a good mood. I don't care if it was in a bad mood. What did you do? Seriously, what did you do? When your mother tell you, say your ABCs with a belt, because my mom used to use a belt. That's how I learned. My mom had a belt. And when she was teaching me, say your ABCs with a belt next to me. And I had to catch on. And if I was in a bad mood, or a good mood, or a happy mood, or a joyful mood, or a shitty mood, I had to say it and I had to learn it. I had to learn it. Listen, some of you only based on your moods is what you want to practice. Amen? Based on your mood is how you want to practice. You care about how you feel, so you practice that and you end up in mud. You end up in trash because that's where your feelings are going. They're trash. You're doing stupid things because of a feeling. So because of uh, today, I don't feel like you ain't doing it. That's not how you learn. I don't care how you feel. Life says, I don't get you cry and move. When you cry, you ain't got to stop. Keep walking. You're walking anyways. And when you're in the middle, have you all ever been in hell? Hey, Queen Lee, thank you for joining me. Welcome. 
You're a family now, Queen Lee. Have you ever been walking through hell? Anybody been walking through hell? Anybody? You ever been walking? Have you ever walked through hell before? Anybody? You know what I'm talking about. I walked through hell. I walked through hell a couple of times myself. Matter of fact, that's why I came to this person because hell was too much. But when you walk into hell, do you stop to cry or do you cry and keep going? Because no matter <laughs> if you cry, if you stop in the middle of hell, what happens? It's still getting burned, right? You're still getting burned. It still hurts. It still feel like hell. You still, if you stop in the middle of hell, you are only hurting yourself. Sometimes you cry, but you keep going. What's up, Gerald? How are you doing, man? You cry, but you keep going. Some of y'all are ready to stop in the middle of the, I can't feel, I don't feel. To hell with your feelings. It's not about your feelings, y'all. It's not about your feelings. This is about what you know, what you must do. It's about a certain practice that you do every day. You practice, practice. And what practice means? You see, some of you all, instead of, you are, God is testing me. Instead of saying God is testing me, why don't you say, now is the time that I can practice what I said I was. Now is the time I can practice who I said I was, ain't it? What's up, Black Butterfly? How are you doing? True or false? Exactly, Rosetta. But you all, ah, uh, God is testing. Nobody testing. You think God is leaving the sun and the moon and whoever rotating around these damn planets? It's good to see you, to Gerald. It's good to see you, man. There's a bunch of stuff happening all over this this universe. Different dimensions, different planets. You think God is coming? Let me test. Let me let me test her now. <laughs> we repeat is nonsense, isn't it? When you think about it, when you think of God is whatever he is, wherever, wherever you think, I don't know where you think he is. I, I just said come down because most people think God is up. <laughs> Jolene, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Jolene. You think anybody coming in here? Let me, tell, let me just see how Andrea is doing because she said that she want to start believing. Let me see, Andrea, it's time to test you. Eight billion people. Planets, I don't know how many planets are there. There's a 50 trillion mosquitoes out there. There's dogs, cats, bacteria, fish, shark, whales, lions, zebras. You think God tested them too? Nobody testing you. Anybody can to see if you fail or not, it only affects you, right or wrong. Whether you fail or pass, it only affects you. So why do you got to test you for? You is what need the lesson. Right, right, King Joel? You're the one who need the lesson. It's you. Thank you, Candy. <clears throat> hey, Neem, thank you for coming. Thank you. Is you the one? So it's not God testing you. Now you have the opportunity to practice who you said that you was becoming. Do it now. What what better of a what better of what better of a time than to do it now? What better time? See, when you say God tested me, you are looking at a place of where your life is, where you are lying. You don't want you really don't see. You said that you was gonna do this, but you're not gonna do it. So is God is testing me, or the devil is testing me. Nobody testing you. Just do the damn thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, life was hell. I can't cry anymore. I, I laugh about stuff. The key, I fixed it. I believe in Almighty be guiding me out. Her hell, people now. <clears throat> I don't give a damn, huh? <clears throat> Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Question that when the old habit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm serious, man. We have to live. Listen, life is. Listen, I, I'm going to come out here next. My next life. I'm going to come out here tomorrow. Tomorrow night. I'm gonna come here tomorrow night. I, may, I hope y'all meet me here tomorrow. Meet me on meet me on YouTube. I like YouTube better. YouTube is more easy. Because I see everything happens at once. Meet me on YouTube tomorrow. I'll come out here tomorrow. Let's talk about life. Let's ask questions. Let's talk about how to get rid of <clears throat> certain emotions. 
Let's talk about your emotions. Let's talk about your suffering. Let's let's see how to get rid of these. You all want to know how to get rid of these things? And I know, <clears throat> I know you all. Excuse me. <clears throat> I know. I know. Probably you all looking at me. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, I know. Probably you all looking at me like, who's this dude? Who do you think he is? How do you know all that stuff? He don't know how to get rid of anger. He probably angry right now. That's why he looked like that. He don't know how to get rid of anxiety or depression. You have no idea. See what I'm saying? <laughs> let's get rid of some things that you carry in. Approximate time. Let's go tomorrow night at about 8 p.m. Let's go 8 p.m. Let's go when everybody is relaxed and free. About 8 p.m. tomorrow night. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's go on YouTube tomorrow. If you are in front of me on YouTube, go on YouTube. Eastern Standard Time. New York time. Georgia time. Let's be at 8 o'clock p.m. And let's just, hey, Charlene, let's talk about how to get rid of these things. How to get rid of, because the, the issue is not about relationship and them things. The issue is about what we carry inside is why we keep choosing what we choose. So let's meet tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Candy, you say start a, um, a dating site? We all... <laughs> I thought about that too, man. <laughs> but let, let, let's let meet tomorrow. Let's um let's figure out some things about us. Let's figure out how to get rid of some pains and some some suffering. All right. So let's meet, let's meet tomorrow night about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. YouTube. If you ain't on YouTube, my my YouTube is Conscious Kirk. K and K. Okay. Yeah, Lisa. Oh, Wait, you have a date tomorrow, Lisa? Look at you, girl. Okay, yeah, let's get rid of some things. So you all have a beautiful evening. Have a beautiful day. Make sure you check my YouTube out. I post every single day. I'm about to post one right now. It's about, okay, with us. It's about to be about 8 p.m. tomorrow night, Eastern Standard Time, all right? So I'll see you all on YouTube tomorrow. If you all don't show up, I ain't talking. So if you all don't show up at 8, I ain't going to waste. You all have a good evening. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You all be good, all right? I'm out. Let me disconnect because I got three things to disconnect from. Let me go off of TikTok. TikTok, I'll see you guys later. Peace. And YouTube. I see you guys. I see you guys tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching. I see you guys. Be safe and be good. Happy weekend. Have a good Friday.